Hi, this is Peyton Cummings with Spalding Ridge, and I'm going to walk you through a model to support data-driven decision-making for sales capacity planning. The purpose of this model is to assist companies with decision-making as it relates to their sales organization during times of crisis, such as what we're currently facing with COVID-19. Because margin for sales tend to decrease during times like these, options such as downsizing may sound attractive to companies. However, when thinking about long-term impact, it's important to keep in mind all aspects of sales profitability, such as the time and resources that go into rebuilding your team once recovery begins. This model will be able to demonstrate the impact of those organizational changes to the productivity of a sales team across different crisis recovery curves. From the administration side, users will be able to enter their business requirements and specific data related to their sales team broken down by the different roles they play within the organization and also regionally as these values can differ across your organization. These assumptions include the initial headcount within a role, the cost associated with maintaining your sales team, as well as costs associated with headcount adjustment, as these all play a role in the overall profitability of your team. Next, users should click into the Input Scenario Drivers page. This data will be what drives our headcount scenarios. In this demo, we have three scenarios that we'll be comparing. No headcount change, a 20% cut to your sales organization, and a 50% cut to the organization. Users can create additional scenarios to test specific organizational change between role and region. Users will be able to enter variables for increasing and decreasing headcount within the scenario through voluntary attrition, termination, new hires, and rehires. The next scenario driver is related to the time it takes for members of your sales team to train or onboard into, their, into your sales organization if they are new hires. In this demo, we created a three, six, and 12 month ramp to be able to factor in the initial capacity limitations of your new hires. Next, for the scenario analysis, is the recovery schedule. These schedules represent the recovery timeline from the crisis that has impacted sales productivity. This demo includes a three, six, and 12-month curve, as well as a 12-month W shape to test potential, potential economic recovery scenarios with your organization's sales capacity plan. As more data becomes available as it relates to the economic recovery of this situation, users can add and update different recovery schedules. Finally, we have the admin selector, which feeds the model the scenario selections based off of the driver data that you've entered above. The first is the anticipated recovery start month, which shifts the application of the recovery curve to the sales potential revenue generation. The second is the crisis recovery profile. Both of these will be able to be toggled throughout the model to be able to quickly test the different scenarios. Next is the employee ramp profile, to apply when new hires are added to the headcount adjustment plan. Admins will be able to select this from the beginning, but will not see this later on in the model. Finally, the initial impact that your organization has experienced from the crisis will be impacted by this multiplier. In this example, the organization will be operating at 85% of their usual productivity because of the crisis. From these drivers that we entered, we're able to perform analysis on the sales organization's capacity. On this board, we can see that baseline capacity is directly impacted from headcount change to the organization from these gray bars, but we're able to see that potential revenue generation is not lost as one-to-one -one, as we require the remaining sales team members to increase their productivity to make up for reduced headcount. We are also able to see that impact that ramping new hires has to productivity. So even though we do not lose productivity one-to-one -one when removing headcount, it is also not regained one-to-one -one either, as new sales team members must be trained and ramped. We can also see that here down below by taking into account when we have ramping hires within our organization. The next board is our recovery scenario analysis. This board gives users the ability to see the impact of recovery curves to the profitability of the organization. Recovery from the crisis is not a controllable scenario, but it is helpful for sales leadership to understand the impact the different recovery curves could have to their business. This board allows users to select a headcount scenario to understand the potential profitability for the planned headcount capacity 
within these KPI cards, as well as visually compare them across the potential recovery curves. Next, we'll dive into the headcount plan analysis. This board is where analysis will take both the capacity of the sales teams and the productivity as it relates to recovery from the crisis on each individual role, as well as the entire sales team. These KPI cards and graph will visualize the profitability of the different headcount plans and how they are affected by toggling the recovery start month and the recovery profile applied. This analysis will provide data to support sales leadership in selecting a headcount planning scenario for their sales organizations. In this first scenario, we can see that recovery month is set to take place sooner in June of this year, with an anticipated recovery of three months. We can see that this, in this scenario, it would be of best interest for leadership to maintain their headcount as it would take even more time and resources to reduce headcount and then onboard new hires once recovery begins. However, if we toggle to a later year or a later month, recovery is not set to apply until later, and maybe it would take even longer for recovery to even set in, we can see that it might be more beneficial for the team to adjust their headcount as reduced productivity and cost of maintaining a full team outweighs the cost of adjustment and ramping. As we toggle between these different potential scenarios, we're also just able to see recovery to profitability over the next few years in order to quickly see the long-term impacts to the organizational plan at a high level. Even further, this chart allows us to analyze the individual's productivity as it relates to recovery by averaging the potential, potential revenue generation across the sales organization's headcount. This takes into account the decreased capacity that removing headcount brings, as well as taking into account applied recovery. In our last board, we can address regional differences across the sales team's organizational capacity, as well as recovery. We know that different areas of the world are recovering at different rates, so on this board, this user is able to select the starting recovery month as well as different recovery curves that align with those regions of their sales team. These charts to the right allow users to analyze the productivity potential of those sales teams regionally. Below that, the user can use these KPI cards and graphs similarly to the overall headcount planning analysis by determining the most profitable scenario for the headcount plan based off of predicted and applied recovery scenarios to those different sales regions. Finally, in order to compare regions at a higher level, these charts are to compare the potential revenue generation and profitability at a high level in order to help leadership understand where focus should be in terms of sales capacity planning. Because sales is a high cost function, it is an area that companies will be looking to downsize. Sales leaders can be prepared in understanding the risks and trade-offs of downsizing by adopting the recovery-based sales capacity planning approach by using a platform such as Anaplan to officially model many scenarios rapidly by their markets to support these difficult decisions. To learn more about recovery-based sales capacity model, contact us through our website at spaldingridge.com.